The purpose of this video is to teach students how to deal with feature tree errors without freaking out. To do this, we are going to start with a shape that is a shelled cylinder with a raised platform and several details added to it, such as a recess, a pattern grill, and some graphics. What I propose to do is remove this platform while leaving all the other details intact. The result will look something like this. Here we see all the features are still there, but now they've been applied to the flat top of the cylinder instead of the top of the platform, which is now removed. Since the platform is the parent feature for all these child features, this is going to be a tricky proposition. Normally, deleting the parent will cause all the children to fail or, in the worst case, actually disappear altogether. We will learn how to move all the children to a new parent and then delete the old parent, breaking the original parent-child relation. The trick will be doing this without losing any of the children in the process. To accomplish this, what we are going to do is force the parent feature, the platform, to have an error so that it no longer rebuilds. This will also cause all the children to be an error, but they will not actually disappear from the feature tree. The reason for this is that SOLIDWORKS assumes if there's an error in the parent that you want time to repair the parent so that you won't lose the children. We will take advantage of this fact. So for step one, what we will do is force the platform into an error by editing the sketch for it. All we have to do is draw a line across the profile of the sketch, which SOLIDWORKS won't like because this is no longer just a single enclosed area. When I exit the sketch, I immediately see every single feature in the feature tree below the raised platform has gone into error mode. The platform, of course, is gone, but also we see our pattern of vents is missing. We see our graphics are floating in the air. The recess that the graphics were applied to is missing and a little recessed area that was running around the perimeter of the platform is missing as well. There are three things to remember at this stage. The first is don't panic. The second is don't start over. And the third is start repairing the feature tree at the top of the tree and work your way downward. Usually repairing one thing at the top will repair two or three things down below. So the amount of work you have to do isn't as bad as it looks. What I like to do at this stage is to roll my feature tree up to the first error. Actually, it will be this one here. And the reason I do that is if I'm working on a really complicated model and I keep slowly repairing the feature tree, there's going to be a long time spent constantly rebuilding the model as I do each repair. This way, we can just quietly work on one feature at a time and not wait for long rebuilds. During this entire process, this platform, which is in error, will remain here until we delete it at the very end. So step two now is going to be to repair the top edge fillet. Right-clicking and editing the feature, we see that there are some edges which no longer exist, and that's what's causing the error. I can delete these manually, or if I check the green check mark, it will give me the chance to just simply exit while automatically deleting these errored edges. So I will just simply say yes, and that automatically repairs that uh, fillet. Rolling down now, we get to the logo recess. If I click this open, I see that the sketch has an error. The reason for that is the sketch is now floating in space. That's because the surface of the platform it was attached to no longer exists. We need to move this sketch down onto the top of the cylinder. So for step three, we will right click on the sketch, edit sketch plane, click on this face, check mark, and that repairs the recess. Rolling down, step four is to repair the shell. The reason we have an error here is that the platform was included in the shell and those surfaces no longer exist. Right click, 
edit feature. We have some missing faces here. I think if I hit the green check mark, it'll give me the chance to just automatically delete those. There's some missing entities. Press yes to automatically remove them. So we hit yes. Those are gone, and step four has been accomplished. Now we roll down to the raised logo, step five. We see we don't even have to do anything. It's automatically been repaired by the work we've done up above. Rolling down to the vent cut, we have an error here because the sketch is once again floating in space. This was a through wall cut, so that's why the vent is still there, but the sketch is incorrect. Right clicking on the sketch, edit sketch plane, click on the missing face. Now the vent has been moved down to the top of the cylinder. Step seven is to repair the fillet that was running around the edge of the vent. The reason this is an error is because that edge was originally cut into the platform. Now it's being cut into the top of the cylinder, so SOLIDWORKS sees that as a different edge. Simply right click, click on one edge of the vent, automatically reattaches it. We click on yes so that it deletes the old invalid edge and that's been repaired. Step eight is to roll forward to the vent pattern. And now we see the vent pattern has come back again, but I happen to know there's actually an error in this that unfortunately SOLIDWORKS doesn't make obvious. If I right click on the pattern and say edit feature, it says the edge used to define the direction of the pattern could not be found. That's because the edge of the platform was being used to set the direction of the vent or the vent pattern. Now we could use this edge here or this edge here to set the direction of the vent pattern, but what if this feature were to go away at some point in time? We would once again get an error in this pattern. So I'm going to click out of this for a moment, roll back, I'm going to give us a more reliable direction for the vent pattern that won't go away if some other feature goes away. I'm going to create an axis. And to do that, I'm going to select my right plane and my top plane. And it makes an axis going through the intersection of those two planes. The reason I chose those is that I knew that this is the same direction as my vent pattern. Now rolling forward to my vent pattern, editing the feature again, again I see an error. In the direction one box, I will select the axis I just created. Let's flip the direction on me, so I'll toggle it in the correct direction. Green check mark. Now I've repaired the vent pattern, which I believe is step number nine. Rolling forward again. We've got that decorative line that was running around the perimeter of the platform. For some reason, that's an error. You can ask what it is. It says, click on what's wrong. It says the feature, the feature failed to cut the body and could not find face or plane for the sketch. So what's happening is, is we're doing a swept cut that's too high up in the air to be cutting into the top of the cylinder. So probably we can fix this just by moving the sketch plane back down to the top of the cylinder for this profile. So edit the sketch plane, move it to the top surface here, and now we see this decorative cut has been moved down. Continuing downward, we have some edge fillets for the logo and this decorative line that are missing. Once again, this is because these edges were cut into the platform and now are being cut into the cylinder, so we just have to retell it where those edges go. Got some missing edges here. This one was retained because it was always at the bottom of the recess, but we need to re-add this edge, this edge, and this edge. Click the check mark. We're going to answer yes, saying that we wanted to get rid of the edges that were causing the error. And that's repaired all of that. Now we can go down to the inside corner fillet for the raised platform. There is no longer a raised platform, and this fillet 
only makes sense for the raised platform. So all we have to do now is just simply delete this feature. And we roll down one more. We have the same thing going on here. This corner only makes sense when there's a raised platform. So I'll delete that feature as well. And we're almost done. We've got all these features now have been moved to a new parent that new parent being the top of the cylinder rather than the top of the raised platform. And the last step is simply to delete the raised platform. And I also want to delete the absorb features that go with it. That would be the sketch. Click on yes. And we see it cleanly deleted that without anything breaking. So that only took about 10 minutes to repair mainly because I was talking through the process. And if you were doing this on your own and you had experience doing this, this would actually only take you just a few minutes. It's a lot better than starting all over again. By the way, to give credit where credit is due, I adapted this tutorial from a presentation given at SOLIDWORKS 2005, I believe it was, by the DeMonte Group in Aurora, Illinois.